This is an update on uh, painting my clips. In my last video I had showed you the areas that I wanted to touch up. Um, mainly on the right side of the car. This, this right side is all I'm working on. Uh, nothing in the back, nothing on the bumper. Um, and I'm just doing touch up areas. Uh, this back touch up area is almost gone. Um, there was a big spot there. If you look at my last video, you can still see some um, areas where I sanded. I'm not going to worry about those areas because those will come out with a buffer and compound after I touch up um, my areas. You can see there's, you can still see that area. Um, all I did at this point is put a first heavy coat. You can kind of actually see where I spray painted if I step back here. Um, Put a in along the sill here. I painted that. It actually came out pretty good. I'm happy with that. There's um spots in the door. You can still see actually above the line. This bottom part of the car I'm painting black. So actually above that there was more an area where I painted which is almost covered like this area this bottom area I'm not going to worry about because this is going to be painted black um, that, um, it's actually going to be a plexa plasti dip I'm sorry plasti dip spray paint and these touch up areas I'm doing with spray paint out of a spray can um, then I'm going to put a couple coats of the touch up paint some clear coat and then I'm gonna buff it out it's gonna look better than out of a factory you can see if you remember in my last video there's a big bondo area that was right here you kinda see it in the light there but that's gone away a little bit all I've done really is put a heavy first layer um, and all I'm doing is a little bit of the front bumper there and this side of the car. All I'm doing is just touching up the areas that I bondoed, you know, the little nicks, scratches that I had in my car, little bumps from other cars running into it and taking off the paint. Any of the areas that needed paint. Um, you can still see, like for instance, in this area, that was actually sanded it down. I don't need to paint that area because that will come out when I buff when I buff it when I put the compound on it buff it and put uh, put wax on top of it so you know that is scratched up but there's the color is still underneath it um, I'll leave it like it is when I buff it and compound it that will go away completely you won't even know that's there so all the areas that I that I'm touching up with the spray paint can just areas that I had to bondo because of nicks and dings and little bumps that people bumped in my car and left little dents. Um, one right there, one right there. That one I'm not going to worry about because, again, this whole bottom area is going to be painted black, black strip. And actually, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm not going to worry about that. You can barely see a line. It's above that line is what I'm worried about. So, I'm going to be putting another coat on here shortly. I just have time. I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to wet sand it, put another coat on it, and then hopefully within a couple days, um, I'll be able to put that black stripe along the bottom. Um, then I'm doing one section of the car at a time. I'm going to do this, this side of the car. Um, I'm going to do the back bumper, the back bumper, there's going to be a black stripe going across the back bumper, the bottom part is going to stay red, and then the top part of the black bumper is going to be black, that black is going to run across the back of the back bumper and run across the, the bottom portion of the car. That is it for now. I will keep you updated on my next video. 
And again, the purpose of this video is to um, see if I can do this as cheaply as possible. That's why you know, I'm using yellow tape instead of blue tape. I don't know if you can tell because the tape's been painted over. Um, but uh, we'll see how it comes out.